Hi, Lori. It's Marie Osmond. How are you? Just fine. How are you, Marie? I am so good. Good. Thank you so much for taking the time with us this morning. Appreciate it. Oh, are you kidding? I love Texas. I did um, a bit, did a big tour with George Street once. We went all through Texas, and I fell in love with it. Oh, you know, I, you know, once it gets in your heart, it's kind of hard to get it out. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, it's like a country within our country. It's so awesome. Exactly. Well, Marie. Um, over 33 years of Children's Miracle Network. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it blows my mind because I started doing Radiothon uh, 15 years ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, you know, I heard that, that when they said that I was going to call you. And you know what? It is just one of the, isn't it? It just gets under your skin and it just becomes a part of you. And, and it, these kids, their stories. And I think radio is one of the best outlets for these kids because they can talk and feel it's intimate, you know? It's the best. Absolutely. And, you know, there's that one story, the one from the very beginning that, that sticks with you and will stick with you forever. And, and I still talk, talk and tell that story every single year. Yep, it's true. What, what, what was your story? Um, back when I first started Radiothon, there was a little girl there. She was just barely two, just as bald as she could be because she had leukemia. And uh, her, her one wish was to have pigtails. Well, I'll be darned that next year she walks right in. They were just as tiny as they could be sticking straight up. And, uh, you know, she had them. But, uh, you know, she just uh, stuck with me forever. And she graduates high school this year. Oh, my gosh. Isn't it amazing? That's the thing is over the years, the children who were some of our first miracle kids are now having kids and they're, they're married and they have, they're, they're the most wonderful people. They give back their hearts are so generous. They've been through so much and yet they are survivors. They're my heroes. They really are. You know, every time uh, one of those kids walk in, you know, whether it be, you know, the cancer or, or, or something else and you just look at them and go, how do you, how do you do this? And, I know. And just their strength, it rubs off on you. And you're still like, I, I still don't know how you do this, but, you know, you've made my life better by coming here and talking to me. So so I have to tell you, Lori, my first, one of my first, well, there were, I have so many, but I'll never forget when we had, we moved our broadcast from Utah to Disney. It was the first time Disney ever aligned with a charity. And we did the, the tw- uh, 20, we did for 23 hours, um, no, it was a 21 hour, excuse me. I needed three hours for hair and makeup and food. And so, <laughs> <laughs> but it was 21 hours. And we were in the, uh, at Disneyland doing the broadcast the first year. And John, John Schneider, was over talking to corporate. And then they were going to kick it to me. And I was going to interview this little boy who was the first survivor of a, of a heart transplant. And he wasn't any bigger than six or seven, seven years old. And he was sitting on my lap, and my arm was around him, and I could feel his little heart beating in the back of my hand. And they started counting down. They said 30, 29, 28, and they were counting down. And right where the camera was were two women standing. And the one lady, I I assumed it was his mother because she looked at the other woman and said, thank you so much for giving my child life. And the other woman, who I thought was the doctor, leaned over, and she goes, no, thank you for letting my little boy live on through yours. Oh, oh my gosh. (laughs) And it changed my life. I'm telling you, when I saw the miracle, and you know, we we go through things. We we hope we never have to go through those things. I mean, I've been through uh, difficulties with my own children and things, but I remember that day. I thought this is something so much bigger than all of us. This is something where 100% of the money stays local. It all goes to these kids and their families. It's 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 something that you help out your community. It's charity at the highest level possible, and and. Um, and children's hospitals treat everything. They're, and they're last on government funding, which is beyond me, that, that that's even possible. But they need our support. And so it's something that, it's, it's a beautiful thing that you're doing that, and I applaud you because um, it tells me a lot about your community and a lot about you, Laura. You're, you're a good person. Well, Marie, why do you think, uh, what is the, one of the big main reasons why Children's Miracle Network has, has lasted so long and has been around for so many years? Well, I think people want to give, don't you, Lori? Absolutely. I think, it's, I think it's in our hearts to give back, just to be grateful for what God has given us and for the, the bounteous blessings that we receive. But, I, but you know what? Statistically, 
it is proven that every child will use a children's hospital. Every family will, and whether it's themselves as a child or their child, grandchild, whatever it is. And they are staples in the community. They teach your pediatricians. They go out to schools and teach prevention. I mean, they really are wonderful, you know, these wonderful edifices in, in our communities. But when people give, they want to know that it's all going to the kids. Mm-hmm. There's no other charity that can say 100% stays local and it all goes to your hospital. And so it really is charity. I mean, it's, and it's for everything, whether it's an accident victim, burn victim, muscle disease, blood disease, premature baby, tonsillectomy, they are there when you are in need. And there's, I don't know about you, but boy, you, you help my child and you've done more for me than you can ever do. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons I love backing this organization is because, you know, you can give to certain organizations and it just goes to a corporate office. But I love the fact that here in Amarillo, whatever our Amarilloans give and the people from the Texas Panhandle give, it's going to go to help kids right here in the it area. And it stays. stays here. It stays in your area. It doesn't, like you say, go off to some other hospital in some other state. It goes to your kids. And that's why I believe that's why it's so successful. I don't know if you know, but since we started, we have raised over $5 billion <laughs> for children. Oh, my goodness. And and when you look at that number, it's daunting in 30, 33 years. But did you know last year Children's Hospital gave away like $2.7 billion in uncompensated care? Because they never turned a child away. And the other thing is that, and this is so crazy, every minute... 62 children enter one of our children's hospitals. That, that's basically a, a little over a child a second. So we, we now help 11 million children every single year. So the, the, the need is great. Uh, the, the hospitals are the best. And the kids, they're our future. You know, they need us. So thank you to everybody who gives. It really is. It, it's amazing what you do for your communities. And Marie, it's amazing what you do. You do just about a little bit of everything. <laughs> you are well, always... I've been I've been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh my gosh, you have made such an impact on, on the world, and and you've got a new album out now and a new single, and you just keep on going, and it's just wonderful. Oh my gosh, you talk about being blown away. I mean, li- literally yesterday, I had my breath taken away. I I really wasn't planning on recording again. Radio. You know, they say that it's for 30 and under, which is too bad, because I believe that we have a lot to say. And I can sing something so much better, you know, at, at 29 than I ever could at 20, because I'm 29. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a depth that comes with, with going through life and experience. And so, you know, I, I went, kept feeling in my gut to record this album, and I was like, in my mind, I'm like, no, this is ridiculous. So anyway, I, I follow my gut. I learned to follow my intuition. So yesterday was the first week of the album's release, and we debuted at 10 on Billboard. Awesome. Shut up, right? <laughs> I was blown away, and, and I am so humbled. You know, I, country is my, I am a little bit country. I was a little bit country before Mandrell ever made it cool. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I just, you know, to hear people love the album and the contents of it and the the meaning, you know, and, and every single word on every single song has meaning and hopefully will touch people's lives. But I, I was just blown away, and it just proves once again that music is medicine, and it heals people's hearts. That's the name of the album. And, um, and I just, once again, you know, if you watch the video, and you must go to Vivo and download it, you'll see that I'm an alien, and it's about kids in hospitals. It is phenomenal. You'll oh. love it. It's really fun. Wonderful. Well, you know, I think the reason people love you so much, Marie, is that you're just so real and so genuine. Well, you are so, <laughs> at this point, you are what you are, right? I mean, exactly. It's, yeah. And, and I do, I love people. I love giving back, but, uh, and I love music. Music has been my medicine. It has been my drug of choice. Uh, when things were tough and rough throughout my life, you know, many of my peers medicated and I never got into that scene. I never wanted to. And, um, and really music has been, it has always been there for me. And, uh, and the fans have always been there for me. And uh, I just, I couldn't love and appreciate it more. My brother and I right now, we were supposed to be in Vegas for six weeks. We are now in our eighth year. Oh, man. Our show is, is uh, voted number one. Uh, three years in a row, which is just insane. And so <laughs> we we just love life. We love we love what we do, and we're so grateful. But I am so thrilled about this album, and I'm thrilled. I am thrilled what you do, Lori. I you know 
in in 50 years from now, no one's going to remember me, but they're going to remember Children's Miracle Network. And, you know, to leave a legacy of something that really does make a difference is something that's that hopefully my grandchildren will be proud of their grandmother, you know? Absolutely.